I'm so excited to finally announce that I have my own Lindsay Sterling signature violin. Isn't she a beauty? Fans have been asking me ever since I started, what violin do you recommend? And I never felt like there was any violin that really had everything that I loved as a violinist because now I get to custom tweak my violins. And so I've made a violin that has all the custom features that I love. So I'm here in the studio. I'm gonna do a little bit of recording so that you can hear it. That's the most important thing. I ended up liking it so much that um, this is the acoustic violin I actually took on my last tour and played all across the states as a professional touring violinist because I loved the clean sound of it so much. So it's funny, I created it for you guys, but um, ended up using it for me. <laughs> but now we get to share it. One thing I was absolutely insistent that had to be a part of this violin was the Whitner pegs. Violins can be very difficult to tune. It can be aggravating. These are basically like a fine tuner in the place of your peg. Look, it just holds. If you don't play a violin, you can't appreciate how magical that is. You won't be in your orchestra class or with your band trying to frantically get a slipping peg to stay. That'll never happen. The second thing I love about this violin is that it has a beautiful range. When I'm searching for a new instrument, I look for a violin that sings in all the different registers. Because the violin, that's what makes it so special. It can go super high and sing in those really high registers. But also can go very low. And so you want to make sure that you have a violin that has even tone across all the ranges. And this violin is very consistent. I made sure of that. second thing I look for in a violin is how is its articulation? Can it be soft and sweet and very singy, like a beautiful lullaby? Mm, sings really nice. And then can it also be gritty? Oof, I love, like, that chunky rhythm. But it's so unsatisfying when you're trying to play something like that and your violin can't handle the pressure. I wanted there to be a few special things about this violin, uh, just design-wise, and so I actually designed this myself. I drew this. Also, as you can see, there's a pretty crystal in the fine tuner. If you peer into this little opening in the violin, it says the name of the violin, which is crystallized. And it also has my signature, so that you know you have a Lindsay Sterling signature violin. Quality is very important to me, so these are all hand created. So this first run, there's actually only going to be 50 of these available. Of course, we'll keep making them after that, but we're only going to make them at the pace that will keep them being super quality, well-made, beautiful handcrafted instruments. Like I said, this instrument has been tried and tested by me, not only in the studio, it's been tried in front of thousands of people on tour, and I can testify this is an amazing instrument. I hope you enjoy it, your Lindsay Sterling signature violin.